Hey, welcome back to Joe and Tell. I'm Joe, and today we're playing Tears of the Kingdom. Now, if you saw the last video, you know we are on the hunt for the paraglider. I'm pretty sure I probably missed it from the very beginning. Right, so I talked to a buddy I work with, and they said I should probably head southeast of the castle because there's a town there with a lot of good stuff in it so I think that's where I'm gonna go I'll get my horse out yeah you're not all I see <laughs> welcome link do you want to register a horse or take one out for a ride I'll take one out for a ride take horse yeah. Yeah, all right. How many can we hold? Six. Cool. Take horse. Aww. Thanks for waiting. Mm. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Cool. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. Oh. Come back again anytime. Thanks, Bryn. A dog. <laughs> Alright, come on, number one. I know we were supposed to look for, like, some kind of item for Impa, but we'll come back and do that. Uh, I have... I have no map, is the problem. Uh, so, here, I guess this is the castle. Southeast would be over here. So, we'll head this direction. Delete stamp. What can I... Pin. There we go. So we set a waypoint. I don't know where it's at. But, uh... See if I can get past this Hinox as well. No, don't stop. Yeah. Korok Bridge. Huh. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Oh! Trees are coming at me. Enox is coming after me. Okay. Is he still... No. That tree is, though. Take the tree out. Okay. What is that? Bladed Rhino Beetle. This beetle's razor sharp horns demand that you handle it with care. Boil the horns alongside monster parts to con con concoct an elixir that will rise at your raise at your attack power. And a high tail lizard, a lizard found throughout Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react at times, but it, if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speed boosting elixir. Rusty halberd. Uh, ooh, what's down there? Is that gonna be this? Is that like just the same as the depths? I'm not gonna go down there because I'm just gonna die. I do wanna see what this is. Traveler's sword. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we can drop this guy. Anything else over here? I think I saw some rocks that looked like we could maybe blow them up. That maybe? No, I guess not. Skeleton. Come on, buddy. We're out of here. Okay, at least we're going in the right direction. 
What's this person doing? You have my support. Oh, Addison. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Darn it all! His face. President Hudson, are you okay? What? Oh no, what have I done? All right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault. Startling me like that. Man, uh, the the residents of Hyrule get startled very easily, I've noticed. Uh, yes, I know it's just the sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable! President Hudson? <laughs> you haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he is also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that... Sorry, what's all this? Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What what was I doing before? I don't want to, the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can all clearly see. <laughs> These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail, noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these signs or these to fall over. And so <laughs> I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Try letting go. <laughs> what? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Whoa, unforgivable. See? President Hudson, I'll support you. So I need to stay focused. President Hudson might topple over if I don't give him my full support. So, er, you cannot bother me? Can you not bother me? Try letting go, President Hudson. I'll leave you to it. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you. Can I, like, can I help him prop it up? I mean, there's plenty of stuff here. Like, uh... He's like, hmm... <laughs> Does this actually roll? No, it doesn't. I don't know what the point of that is, but... I'm going to support his sign, though. Okay, we're going to stick these two guys together. That. We're going to... Move it out of the way. Oh, it won't even, like... I can't connect it to the sign. That's a bummer. How the heck? What are you supposed to do? Now it's too tall. It won't go. 
Maybe I can pull this last this one off of here. I'm surprised it doesn't let you attach it to the Now it's too short. I need like a rock or something. I'll try letting go. Hey, it worked. He's st he's standing. How's the president standing? That's brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's stand still standing. Okay, cool. Just put this right there. Get that fastened and perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. <laughs> it's a sign, dude. Take this with my thanks. Red rupee, 20 rupees. It's red luster tickles your heartstrings. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Hasty veggie rice balls. Grants a low-level movement speed boost. This home-style dish of Kakriko Village is stuffed with the bounty of the mountains. Cool. Ah! ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection, a special gift from me to you. Bomb flower, a dangerous flower. Yep, we know what those are. Ah! Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. <laughs> Weird guy, but he gave us a lot of stuff. And the sign is, I guess, definitely up. What's this thing? Farming hoe, a farming tool primarily used for f tilling fields. Its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to do to withstand back-breaking field work, but its battle up applications are untested. Okay. Uh, can I? Uh, don't want to attach it to an axe. But to a... Equip. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Whoop, I was going to throw it. Where'd my horse go? Oh, he's up here? Oh, there he is. What's he doing all the way up there? Come on, number one. We got places to go. Like up in this tree. Okay, nothing there. So we're still heading in the correct direction. Uh, I think. Cobbling. It's pretty cool. We haven't really explored over here yet, so there's a giant tower. That's pretty cool. Get some nice cash. Uh, okay, is that like a castle? Yeah. What is this place? Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's like a fort. Sir, is that you? It is, isn't it? His name's Kapora. Where, where have you been? 
After you and Princess Zelda went to the castle to investigate, it rose into the sky. We've all been so worried. Hura has been working day and night here to find any sign of you. Mm. She's probably in that building with the telescope right now. Please go talk to her. She'll be relieved to know you're all right. Lookout Landing. Oh, this is cool. Target practice and... I guess we're supposed to go up to the telescope area. <laughs> oh, what a pleasant morning. Hey, hey, you. Where have you been? Robbie, head of Purr's Pad Development. <laughs> Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She isn't... Oh, she's in the building with the telescope up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will ya? Give her peace of mind. My my weapon is like so long that it's in the ground. <laughs> uh, yeah. Doc looks busy. Hmm. Who's this? Josha. Josha. Oh, that's we heard about her. That hair, those eyes. Da da Doc. Oh. Doctor Pura. The swordsman. The swordsman. He's returned. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Hura, head of Lookout Landing. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Then, Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Mm. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rauru. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Pretty much sums it up. Look <laughs> Huh? Then. Are you saying you came from up there? This Raru, I think it's how she said it. You met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummies, that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her. 
If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know that Mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning, to say the least. But we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. <laughs> Ura. The highest authority in ancient, on ancient technology, she has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Okay, so now she's grown up from that. I remember her from Breath of the Wild, and she was a, yeah, a kid. Okay. To the Kingdom of Hyrule. Complete. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. New objective. Hyrule Castle rose into the air at the start of the upheaval, which tore apart the earth underneath it. Pura... Pura believes that Princess Zelda may have called out to you from deep in the earth. Join the search for Princess Below Hyrule Castle. So I'm pretty certain that this is probably should have been the first place I came after landing on Hyrule, but I kind of went in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to look around, though. Oh, cool. There's stuff everywhere. I go through the roof? Yep. Sure can. Oh. <laughs> I'm in somebody's room. Examine. Pura's diary. Read Pura's diary? Sure. A stairway leading deep beneath Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda didn't know about it. So it seems safe to assume it's a secret removed even from the royal legend. We have confirmed that gloom emanates from that location, meaning something down there must be causing it. I appointed Princess Zelda and Link to investigate. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that Princess Zelda volunteered for the job before I had a chance. I know beyond a doubt there is no team more qualified for such a task, and yet I can't escape the f this feeling of dread. I've decided to store this diary in four volumes. That way, if a nosy someone reads it, <laughs> they'll only have a quarter of it. Such ideas are the fruits of genius. As for the first one, I think I'll entrust it to who else but Impa. Speaking of Impa, she has, she's had a cute habit of hiding important items underneath things ever since she was a child. I have found memory of when, I have a fond memory of when she forgot about a hidden steamed bun beneath a cushion and then sat on it, squashed flat. Diaries are flat to begin with, but as they are more important than a bun, I hope she finds a better hiding spot than a cushion. Okay. Oh, I'm like at the top of the tower. Oh, that's cool.
<clears throat> well? Anson, so those balloons things that fall from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust my boss, Pura, to take a thing we know so little about and turn it into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule, a creative genius. What's this guy doing? Ah. Arson. Sorry, I'm a bit busy with it. Work right now. Ah. Link? Wow, what a relief. I was seriously worried about you. Where have you been? Anyway, uh, sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. Ah. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable in Lookout Landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so I'd help him out a lot if he'd had a proper stable. The project would likely take me a while to complete. Oh. But once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. Sounds great. Mobs, what a name. Oh, she's got armor though. He, hey, welcome. It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to stop shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together, but I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll support my place here. Your hometown? Huh? I come from a small fish fishing town called Laurelin Village. It's way to the south on the southern corner, southeastern corner of Hyrule. It used to be a peaceful place too. Uh. Then the pirates arrived. I used to run the village's general store, but when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I, I don't know how it's going down there or going there now. Uh. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like. Anything else? Goodbye. If you want something, just pick it out and let me know. Okay, I do want to check out... Um... Whoa. <laughs> I do want to check out these. 130. I can buy it. Hylian Tunic, a common garb that achieved widespread popularity in Hyrule, particularly among travelers. Its light yet sturdy fabric doesn't limit movement. Okay. And then this one. Hylian Hood. A hood woven using traditional Hy Hyrulean methods. It's made from a sturdy material to protect travelers from the harsh sun and weather. Oh, I didn't mind. I didn't mean to buy that one. Uh, but all right, that's generous of you, sir. You've made me very happy today. Okay, I don't have enough now, and then I need the Hylian trousers, traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable, and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. All right, well, now I got to get some more uh, ah. money. Let's see if I can sell her oh. some stuff. How much is she going to give me for my things? Uh, not a lot, huh? I don't have a whole lot of stuff either. Four for these bright caps. Uh, I don't... I have a lot of these. She'll give me a 15. Oh, no, I don't have a lot. I have three. She'll give me 110 for those. You know what? I probably will sell her that. Just one. Okay, and then what else can I sell her? We've got nine of those. Uh, oh, I've got a lot of these. No, I don't. I only have five. <laughs> That's fine. I'll sell uh, three of them. Yep. Uh. 
Okay. I don't know if I'll have enough or not, but let's 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 see what happens. Okay, I'm done talking to you. Yes. I do have enough. Perfect. And we'll take the pants. Cool. <laughs> ah! Oh. Alright, you need to calm down, lady. Let's put on some new clothes. Pants on. All right. Now we're talking. Now we are off to find the the team that is supposed to be looking for us. While we didn't find the paraglider. We did find Lookout Landing and Pura. She was able to give us some direction on where to go next. Apparently, we have to find the Lookout Party that is out looking for Link and Zelda. Oh, we also were able to pick up some new sweet threads in Lookout Landing via that little shop. So make sure you come back for the next episode as we make our way out to Hyrule Castle and the Lookout Party. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.